All right, guys, here we go. So tomorrow we're going to be smoking this striped bass that we caught out on Pickwick Dam. This fish weighs 10 pounds. We've got, uh, sorry about the shaky camera. We've got fresh lime. This is thyme. Fresh parsley. Lemon. Garlic. We're going to go ahead and score him, and then we are going to stuff him and put a light seasoning on him, wrap him up, let him marinate overnight and tomorrow we're going to smoke them and we'll tune you back in. What you want to do is you want to score your fish 45 degree angle. Just going to make a couple nice deep scores down. Go all the way down. And you get down in that belly as well. Come back from these cuts here. There's a rib bone here so it's not going to cut as well but when it when this thing is done smoking the meat's just going to fall right off the bone. And we'll make a few more scores. This is a bigger fish, guys. Um, but it's a delicious fish. This will be my first time smoking a fish, so I hope this turns out well. All right, so once you score that side, you'll flip them over, and you'll do the same. As you'll notice, I've cut the tail and the fins and everything else off. Make it more presentable. Usually I fillet all my fish, but... I was watching some videos on YouTube and I seen a guy smoke a whole one and he said that you know you just get all your meat. He's actually in Maryland and I think it cost him $160 for a striped bass, 10 pound bass. You can look it up. Fish prices are crazy nowadays. So now that we've got all that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to stuff it first. Stuff the inside. We'll put a little bit of olive oil in there. Um, give me just a second. I'll come right back to you. Right, so we're back. We've got our olive oil here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to give a light brush on the inside. Just brush that down. That way when we put some of these, that olive oil will help the flavoring stick. Now I processed this fish myself. I gutted it, cleaned it, and everything else. We are going to leave the head on. Um, that's just how I want to do it. Uh, let's see here. And this is gonna be delicious, I promise you. All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead, put a little bit of thyme inside there. Just gonna go ahead and pack it in. Actually, we'll break it up a little bit and kinda of stuff it. We're gonna stuff it with, liberally stuff it with parsley because that's just gonna infuse into the meat and just give it an outstanding flavor. And we're gonna also stuff our lime in there too. And then we're gonna wrap it up now, I have some twine that I think I might use. We'll put our lime in there as well. We'll stuff that in there. We're going to give them a little squeeze as we put them in. They're going to cook inside of this guy. I've got quite a few, don't I? Might have too many, but I never have enough lime. Let's go ahead and start mixing in some lemon with that. Now guys, this is going to infuse inside there. We'll put a little bit of garlic in there too. And as this thing smokes, all these flavors are going to infuse that meat. And I'm telling you, it's going to be delicious. It's already smelling good. Alright, so I think that's enough. That's all we're going to be able to stuff inside him. We're going to wrap him up and when we smoke him, we're going to keep him wrapped in that foil and we're going to leave the tail end and the head end open so that way the smoke can get through there. Alright, so that's good on that. Once I wrap them up, that'll kind of hold in. Um, basically, you know, you just get those flavors in there. We'll go ahead and brush them down on the outside with a little bit of uh... and actually while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and rub them down with some of these lemons too. Get a little squeeze and then just just go over the whole body. Make sure you get your seeds out. You don't want to be eating seeds with a fish. I'll take a couple more of these and I'm just gonna squeeze that on there liberally. Just get that on there. And then just rub that fish down. I ain't gonna season the head because we're not gonna be eating the head. I'm, I mean people eat the head all the time, but we're not going to. We'll probably stick a few of these lemons and limes inside these score marks here 
get a few of them, get that, make sure you get that lemon juice down into the scores so it gets it into the into the meat. We'll go over it with the lemons and then we'll come back with the lime. And each of your cuts, just squeeze a little bit out. Get a good rub down in there. This is a good, uh, it's got white meat, it's got dark meat. Um, believe it or not, striped bass. Um, they call them rockfish, all kinds of different things, but believe it or not, these fish can live in both fresh and salt water. That's a surprise to me. But yeah, in the market, especially along the coast, if I get them off the salt water, yeah, these are, go for a lot of money. Now, we're gonna, um, we've already rubbed it down with olive oil on this side. We'll get a little bit of garlic on this. Get some of that garlic down in there. A couple of pieces on the other side will work. I still got some garlic here I can steal. Put that down in there. And we're gonna do the same thing with our parsley. We're gonna, whatever is excess out here, we're gonna stuff into these score marks. That way that flavor just gets buried into it. Go ahead and put some thyme on there. In each of those. And this will just add flavor. And as it cooks, this this will all fall out. You know, it's just it's just there for flavor and partial appearance. It's a good looking fish right now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and repeat the process. Now the stems won't hurt you, but we will leave them in there for flavor because they, they do have flavor in them. And that's pretty much it, guys, as far as what we're going to do tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and get him laying on some lime, get the lime around him. Because we're going to cook him in this foil as well. Let it marinate overnight. Come back tomorrow after church, and I'm gonna start to smoke her up. I'm gonna be using a mesquite uh, wood wood pellets, actually over charcoal. Believe it or not, I was doing some research, and you can use pellets on a charcoal grill. So that's what we're gonna do. Couldn't find any wood chunks. All right, so I'm gonna center him up, and we'll fold from this side first to hold everything in, and then we're gonna get a piece of top foil to kind of cover it up. I doubled up on this foil, guys, because this is a big fish, and it's heavy duty foil, too, and I had to double up on it. So, now, this is just so he marinates. When I put him on the grill tomorrow, I'm actually leave him uncovered as it smokes, probably like so, and I may flip him once, maybe, yeah, yeah, I'll probably flip him once during the grilling, about halfway through, so that way both sides get equal amount of smoke. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put another piece of foil on top of him, and we'll come back tomorrow when we put this on the smoker. All right, what's up guys? We back another day. So we're gonna smoke this fish today um, Right now I got charcoal on the bottom. I started that up I let it get uh, ashed over and then I threw some wood pellets on there Believe it or not you can use wood pellets on a charcoal grill uh, These are the wood pellets that I'm using got them at Walmart 20 pound bag for like nine dollars uh, I just put a little a lot on there I'm gonna let that start smoking for about 30 minutes so I can balance out the temperature and then we'll put that fish on there and get him going all right, guys, so we back. As you can see, we got us a real good slow smoke going. Uh, temperature's right at 150. I'm going to keep it at 200 and below. Go ahead and put this fish on. Yeah, now we're smoking. And the only thing you're really going to do is just keep an eye on your temperature. Keep it low and slow. So that's it. Uh, let me put the fish on. There she is. Let me get her on the grill. All right, guys, so I got her on there. Gotta move away from that smoke. It seems like it's attracted to me. We're gonna close the lid. Uh, keep this thing at or below 200 degrees, above 150, and let her smoke. And we will be back when it's, we'll check on it. Come back in a while, we're gonna rub a butter sauce on it. The lime is just there for flavor. Once this thing starts cooking, those will obviously come off, you know. But uh, let's keep it moving. All right, guys, we are about halfway into it. Let me step out of there. And that fish is looking real good. It's got a nice smokiness to him. Yep, looking real good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn him over, put the other side just in case it's not as smoky. Get the same way. And yeah. All right. Trees all the way. You guys can come. You got to spray a tree line. Good 
There it is. He's done. So we're gonna sit back and enjoy. We'll show you some of the meat here in a second. Go on that. Very good. Patrick, what you think, Patrick? How you like that? I'm videoing, man. How you like that? I might have to tell you. Yeah, you gotta tell us. Uh, it's good. Is it? Yeah, it's good. You did good, one. Is it good? Is it good, Barbara? She don't even eat this. Good. I don't even eat this, but I tried it. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh -huh. Thumbs up. Thumbs up is good. Delicious. All right. There we go. Delicious. Jamie, what do you think? I love it, man. I love it. There y'all go. Striped bass. 